Welcome to Bosch's Virtual Training Labs, IVA 3.5, Module 1, First Steps. Prior to configuring IVA on your Bosch encoders or IP cameras, there's a few things we want to cover. The first are the basic software prerequisites. Your Bosch encoder or IP camera should have firmware release 3.5 or greater. You should have downloaded Configuration Manager 1.71 or greater. If forensic search is needed, you'll need Archive Player 2.20 or greater, and you should have the Video SDK 4.24 or higher. All of these can be downloaded from the Bosch website, www.boschsecurity.us. Go to the Download Library. Just as IVMD 1 and 2 are licensable, so is IVA 3.5. You should have received an authentication code. To activate the license on your encoder, go to httpsactivation.boschsecurity.com. Here you will see a license activation page. Once logged in, simply follow the instructions using your authentication code that you've received and receive an activation license for your encoder. You can apply your activation key either through Configuration Manager or through the encoder's web browser. For this module, we'll be using the encoder's web browser. From the Encoder Settings page, select the Service Settings submenu on the left-hand side. Next, select Licenses. Once you select Licenses, you will see the Activation menu page appear on the right. You will notice here there is an Activation Key window. You will need to cut and paste the license that you received earlier into this window and hit Set. After you have applied your Activation Key, as shown here, you should see an Activation Key entered for the version of IVMD that you have licensed. The last task in this module is to configure our live page to show metadata trajectories and overlays. This will enable us to test our alarms and ensure that our IVA algorithms are working correctly. To configure this, we will have to do the following. From the service submenu where we were before, select Live Page Configuration. This will bring up your Live Page Configuration Editor. You want to ensure that Show VCA Trajectories and Show VCA Metadata are both checked. Once you've checked them, hit Set. This concludes this module. In our next modules, we'll learn the IVA Wizard and how to configure different IVA algorithms. Thank you for attending.